This video reviews the Stairmaster 4G assembly procedure. Required tools. Step 1. Remove the cardboard. Pry off two wooden supports from the bottom of the pallet and then remove. Caution, staples from the pallet may be sharp. Pry off the wooden plank at the rear securing the machine to the pallet. Roll the unit off of the pallet to its final install location. Step 2. Install the right and left leveling feet. Step 3. Thread the cable bundle up through the machine and out of the top of the mast while installing it onto the frame. Step 4. Use a ratchet with a 13mm socket and a 13mm wrench to secure the mast to the frame using four flange bolts and flange nuts. Do not fully tighten. Step 5. Install the left side handrail grommet onto the left upright handrail, then slide the handrail onto the left side frame post. The grommets are side specific. Use a 6mm Allen key to secure the side upright handrail to the frame. Do not fully tighten. Repeat for the other side. Step 6. Install the left and right handrail assemblies into the upright handrails and mast. Use a ratchet with a 13mm socket and a 13mm open wrench to secure. Do not fully tighten. Step 7. Use a 6mm Allen key to secure the left and right side handrails to the upright handrails, each using two socket head cap screws and one of the small handrail clamps. Do not fully tighten. Step 8. Connect the heart rate cables and speed keypad cable coming from the left handrail and the heart rate cables and stop keypad coming from the right handrail to the respective receiving cables coming from the hole in the rear of the mast. Step 9. Fully tighten all arm and mast hardware throughout the machine to the torque specifications shown. Step 10. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the front shroud to the frame. Step 11. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the top shroud to the frame. Step 12. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the neck cover to the frame. Install the mast grommet onto the top shroud. Step 13. Use a Phillips screwdriver to secure the mast shroud around the mast and handrails. Step 14. Use a Phillips screwdriver to secure the upper right side shroud to the frame. Repeat for the upper left side shroud. Step 15. Unpackage the console from the box. Separate the rear shroud from the console and use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the rear panel from the rear shroud. Then install the rear console to the mast. Secure the rear console panel to the rear console shroud using the screws previously removed. Secure the rear console shroud to the mast using 8 screws and 8 washers. Step 16. Install the power cable and the C-safe cable from the console into the corresponding connections in the rear of the console shroud. Install the data cable. Tuck unused cables down the mast. Install the heart rate cable. Install the keypad cable.
Install the grounding cables. Step 17. Secure the front of the console to the rear console, ensuring there are no pinched wires. Fasten the shroud using six screws. Step 18. Install the console grommet. Step 19. Attach the power cable to the cable retention, then plug it in. Step 20. Test the unit. 